Hello and welcome to Getting APIs to Work, a new episode, this time from home. Um, I've been at home for a while. I hope all of you are staying at home as well and you're all safe. And my goal for the next couple of weeks is to produce more videos. And what we will talk about today is another what is an API video. But today we will level it up a little bit and we will move not just to APIs, but to API products. So today we'll talk about what is an API product? And to make that more informational, we will use beer. Everything's better with beer, right? So the last time when I talked about APIs, I, in my first video about what is an API, I said, these are the two most important things. It has to be networked and reusable. And that is, I think, still true. But the more important part is actually that in most cases, the API is not the important thing. The important thing is, what does the API allow you to do? So it's about the capability of the API and not so much the interface itself. And today we will look at an example of how you can explain that with beer. So when you look at beer, right, there's different ways of how you can get beer to a consumer. For example, bottles and cans. And that is exactly what you can think about when you think about APIs. So an API is the delivery mechanism. An API is the can. An API is the bottle. An API is not actually the beer. The beer is the value that you want to deliver to the customer. And the beer is what the customer really cares about. But you need the delivery mechanism, otherwise they can't get the beer. And that's exactly what APIs are all about. In all cases where APIs matter nowadays, why they matter is because they allow you to deliver value in new, more scalable, more far-reaching ways than you could before because they're digital, they're reusable, right? They're networked. These were the two things that we talked about, reusable and networked, right? So these are the two important parts. And what APIs allow you to do is really to have this ability of delivering something of value to a global audience, to scale them relatively easily, and to do that in a way that is really what digital experiences are all about. When you think about it, bottles and cans are not the only delivery mechanisms, of course. Right? They're pretty similar. You can both find them in stores and so forth. But you can also deliver beer in other ways. For example, you can deliver beer through a tap. Some people prefer drinking beer from the tap because maybe that's a better taste. But there's very different constraints around that. Right? You have to go to a pub to drink it. So even though you might think the way to get the product is better, you have to deal with different constraints. And the same is very much true for designing APIs. You have to think about what are the constraints that I'm creating for my consumers, for my customers, when, am I, when I am designing an API in a certain way. And you have to be very aware of the constraints that you put in place because they want the value, they want the product, and they are willing to deal with certain constraints, but others may be just disappointing or they may be disqualifying. It's probably true that most consumers are much more interested in the value than in the exact delivery mechanism, but you still have to think through your delivery mechanism. And I think it's important thing to always keep that in mind because in the end, you don't want to diminish the value of your products, of your beers, by delivering them in a way that makes it hard for people to consume it or will drive people to alternative products. So I think there's three important things to really keep in mind when you think about API products and the value that you produce and in the end what you can expect when you will make them available on the market. So number one is really the product value. What is the value of the thing that I'm offering? And that is by far the most important thing, right? So am I actually selling good beer? If you're not selling good beer, none of the rest matters unless nobody else sells beer, 
right? But if there is some competition, right, you have to think about what, how do I design a product that will actually attract consumers? Then the second thing to keep in mind is how am I delivering the product in a way that works for consumers and also that scales across my product portfolio? And that is an important thing to think about. We will talk about this more in an upcoming video on API landscapes when it comes to, let's say I'm trying to sell 20 different varieties of beers. If I'm doing that, it would be very helpful if I'm delivering all of these 20 varieties in a way that it's easy for people to consume all 20 of them in a similar way. I can get them to the consumers in a similar way, right? I have my delivery system set up. Consumers know how to use my delivery mechanism. They're not confused because every product is delivered in a very different way. So thinking about how to build API products so that you can scale your product landscape is also a very important thing to think about. And the third thing then is to think about the specific API design for your one product that you try to deliver right now. But that really is only number three, right? So number one, think about product value. Very, very important, by far the most important. Number two, think about your product landscape. How does what you are building right now fit into your landscape, fit into your strat strategic plans for your landscape, fit into what customers are expecting from you, what they used to, all these kind of things. And then number three, really, that's the last part, is really thinking about how do I design the specific product. I had to go back inside. It's too cold outside. It's just about freezing. So, but I could grab one more beer on my way in. And I'm promising you that's the last beer story I have. But just to give you another example, right? This is another beer I picked up when I was shopping for beers for this episode. And as you can tell, it's a very different product design approach. They clearly focused on making the bottle very special. And that is why I bought it. And that is why probably a lot of people will buy it. On the other hand, they may have problems getting this into distribution chains, into shops and so forth, because it's a very unconventional bottle. So the people designing this product went for a very different balance of designing the delivery mechanism and designing the beer. I'll find out how the beer is tonight when I'm giving that one a try. But this really was my last beer oriented example, just again to highlight the fact that there's a difference between the product itself and the delivery. And again, that's the thing that is really important to keep in mind, which is why we'll have a separate video. I think that'll be the next one coming up about API product management. That is really dear to my heart because I think that really is the important thing about APIs to think about APIs as products that you design to be delivered in a networked and reusable way. And again, the most important things to think about there as an API product manager, and that is what we will revisit, are the product value is the thing that you are delivering a valuable thing to be delivering. That's the most important thing. The second most important, the API landscape. So how does the product fit into the existing landscape of products? How does it fit into what customers are accustomed to using? Will it be something that's easy for them to consume, that's easy to get to, that's easy to process? And the third one then, really only the third one, right, is the design of the individual API. It has to be functional, it has to work, of course. But again, if the value you're delivering is good, then all you have to make sure is that your API is good enough so that you don't really diminish the value of the product through an API that really makes it hard to work with the product. And I think that really was a good teaser to the upcoming video on API product management. I think that'll be 
a good way to explore more how to actually do that in organizations that are designing and delivering APIs and how to do that at scale. And with that, I'm done for today. Thank you very much for listening. If you want to stay informed about APIs, please subscribe to my channel. It should be somewhere here or there. I still don't know exactly where these things show up, but subscribe to my channel. I will post videos on a more regular basis now because I have more time at home to produce these videos and it's a lot of fun and it actually makes you feel like you're getting out a little bit to people outside, which is an important thing nowadays. So. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay at home, and let's catch up next week. Bye.